Okay, y'all. So I am here on YouTube. Your girl Stella. And I thought about something today. You know, because I wanted to come back onto the platform and really try to do my thing on YouTube. And I was like, you know what? What is your why? You know, what is your why? And I thought about it today. Like, why am I here? Okay. And so I wrote a list. Um, and one of them was so I can learn how to communicate better. Okay. I want to learn how to communicate better. I want to learn how to stop saying, um, so much, which I am. I say it all the time. Y'all I wear, um, all the way in the ground. Okay. So I wanted to use this as a means of communicating what it is that I have to say just a little bit better. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to come back on YouTube. Um, Another thing is to keep from talking to myself. Y'all, I talk to myself all the time. I be like, girl, do you want this? You want that? Like what? Like, huh? I wake up in the morning, I'm talking to myself. So now, you know, it don't seem like I still, I, I mean, I may be still kind of talking to myself legit, but like, like I might get some views or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I might get some views. So it, it ain't like technically I'm like not talking to myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Another reason is is I want to build a positive community of people, you know, that share in some of the same interests that I share in, that I can share with them. They can share with me like, hey, we pop off of each other. We, you know what I'm saying? We feed off each other energy. And it's all about just nurturing a positive community because there's so much negative going on in the world, y'all, that we just need as much positive energy as possible. And I'm here to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Um... Another thing is I just want to talk about stuff. Like, I, I I love fashion. I like stuff. I like spending money. I like making money. I like listening at people's stories. So I'm here to just, you know, talk stuff, you know? I'm here to talk about different things that I see, whether I like it or not, and, you know, and I want to give my honest review about it, you know? So I'm just here to talk stuff. You know, that's another reason why I decided, um to come on youtube um another thing is i want to put a smile on somebody's face you know what i'm saying like i've been through a lot i understand that a lot of people have been through a lot so i'm just here at the end of the day to put a smile on somebody else's face i'm here to smile i'm here to put a smile on somebody else's face i'm here to provide a safe place for people to be able to communicate freely as long as it's respectfully you know what i'm saying because i will just delete the whole comment and i will block some people because this ain't what it's about over here you know what i'm saying another thing this is one of the major reasons why hold on y'all let me turn my air conditioner up a little bit because you know i'm perimenopause i'm a little old i gotta turn my air conditioner up just a little bit get a little out okay another thing is i want to be able to to leave something behind for my kids and my grandkids and possibly even my great grandkids to look back on and be like, wow, either I look just like my grandmother, my great grandmother, I act like my great grandmother. You know, this is what my great grandmother was thinking about. I want somebody to be able to look at it and be like, oh, she was, I, I can't believe she wore that. She looked a mess. You know what I'm saying? Look at my grandmama. She looks a mess. I want to be able to leave something else behind because I, from experience, when my father passed, um, I was looking for anything that just gave me something of him. And he had some YouTube videos because he was a um, pastor. So he had some YouTube videos. And I would go back and reach and look at those videos because they reminded me I could actually see him in his element, in the th doing the things that he felt like was his purpose, doing the things that made him happy, doing what he was called to do. And I want my great grandkids to know that, hey, you can step outside of fear. You don't have to be afraid. You can work on some of the things that you want to work on. Don't let nothing stop you. And I want them to be able to look back on this, especially this video and be like, I can do what all things. Let me take that back. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know what I'm saying? And I want them to believe in themselves. Like, even though you may have that 
whatever about yourself that make you feel like you're not good enough to do it or you know don't nobody want to hear what it is that you got to say or it's saturated don't know don't nobody else want to see nothing else about fashion or talk about stuff don't nobody want to talk about spending money it will give them what it is that they need to be able to step out in their purpose and have faith in god that it can happen I'm a living witness and I want my seed to be able to look back and be like, that's my great grandmama. Like, look at her, like really do her thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to add on to this because this, I'm going to add on to that one. Okay. One of the other reasons why I'm doing this as well, not just for my kids, my grandkids, my great grandkids, excuse me, because I can't speak sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Um, is... I do believe that I can leave behind what it is that I'm passionate about because I feel like all of us are part of the Truman Show and we just don't know it. You know what I'm saying? At least I can leave behind what I think I'm supposed to be doing or, or make, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if we actually figured out that we was all programmed to be doing what it is that we're doing and we don't know it and everybody was just a cast in our show? You know what I'm saying? Like, at least, <laughs> at least I will have my own picture of uh, what it is I thought that I was supposed to be doing with my life and what I thought my purpose was supposed to be from God. You get what I'm saying? So that is that when I think about why I decided to start back up doing my YouTube and start back talking about fashion and start back talking to women about certain things is because I want to leave a legacy behind of what I thought and what I feel like my purpose truly is on this earth. And that is to be a positive force for women to make somebody smile. You know what I'm saying? To, to be that advocate for a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we need that in our community. So with that being said, I want to ask the ones who have sat here through this almost eight minute video because it's going to be eight minutes when I get done. OK, what is your why? What's holding you back? Even if you're a small YouTuber like myself and we don't get that many views, we don't get that many likes, we don't get that, you know, the watch time. What is it that's stopping you? Because you might not get the views today and you may not get the money today from off of YouTube. But what is your why? What is your why for why you are here on YouTube? And why, if you have not started uploading your videos, why haven't you? Is it fear? Is it doubt? I'm here to encourage you today to think about your why. Get a list of whys and then go from there. Build your platform. Talk about your life and leave a legacy behind and leave memories behind for somebody else that's coming after us. Okay? I'm out, y'all. Stella, your girl is out. Y'all have a really, really good one. I'll see y'all right here for more stuff. Okay?